Namaste. In the last session, we studied how machine learning model looks like. Uh, the session before that, we also studied how the input data looks like. Uh, now that we know about what is the training data in machine learning and also how model looks like, uh, we will uh, you know change gears to understand how to estimate the parameters of the model. Uh, Let us begin. So, uh, most of the models, so, so we, we looked at linear regression model and the linear regression model looked like this B plus W1 X1 plus W2 X2 all the way up to Wm Xm. I can compactly represent this as i is equal to 1 to m w i x i. So, this is my linear regression model and we normally use h w of x. So, this is the regression model. We also looked at the logistic How does logistic regression model looks like? Logistic regression model predicts the probability of y is equal to 1 given x as 1 over 1 plus exponential of minus z where z is nothing but a linear combination of features and their parameters. And in case of neural network model, uh, we learned some complex function uh, which also had lots of parameters with it. Uh, now that we have this particular model and we have training data, our job is to come up with values of these parameters. So, let us let us try to build an intuition uh, about it based on a very uh, simple example of a linear regression with a single variable. So, let us say this is a single variable x1 and this is the value y to uh, which is the output value or the label and let us say uh, these are the points. And let us say we want to uh, fit a line, linear regression represent a line. So, let us say uh, we somehow got let us say we have a line which passes to the origin. So, the equation of this line is y is equal to b plus w 1 x 1 here b is 0 because the line passes to the origin. So, we have w 1 x 1 as an equation of this line. Now, our job is to estimate the value of w 1 or uh, let us say if I use a different value of w1 it will result into a different line. So, here we have a line uh, which passes to the origin uh, and which has got some slope. So, if I change the value of the slope I can I can draw let us say some other line from the origin which looks something like this or I can draw some other line which looks something like this or so, uh, just by changing the value of w1, I can get uh, different 
uh, models or different functions. Now which of this function uh, is uh, the most appropriate function uh, for our cause uh, is, is the central question in front of us. So we are having training data, we have fixed up our model and now the task is to estimate the model parameter. And one of the tool that we use to estimate para model parameter is called loss function. We normally denote loss function with j and loss function is the function of parameter value. Depending on what parameters we choose, we get a model and because of model we incur some loss. Let us see uh, what loss means in the context of linear regression. So, you can you can see that for this particular value of x1, this was a true value, but if we use red line as our model, then this is the predicted value. So, this is an actual value and this is the predicted value for this value of x1. So, we incur some error over here. The error is difference between the actual value and the predicted value. In the same manner, incur some error over here, some error over here, here we have negligible errors, some error here, some error here, some error here. If we use red as the line of choice or red line as the model. If we use some other line as a model, then there will be different errors. So, you can see that these are all errors for the orange line, right. Uh, how do we uh, measure this loss uh, cumulatively? So, what we do is we find out the loss at every point and sum it across all the points. Let us write it mathematically how we do it for a single point. For a single point, we look at the prediction at that point minus the actual value of y. And since we do not care about the sign, we take square so that all positive and negative losses are measured in the same manner. So, this is the loss, this is the actual value. If this equation is a bit scary to you, so you can read that this is an actual value, this is the predicted value and we square this up. So, we have actual minus predicted and we sum this loss across all end points and we add one half as a mathematical convenience. So, is this clear to everyone? So, what, what we are doing here is we are we are calculating loss at every individual point and then summing up the loss across all the points and this is a total loss that we incur because we choose parameters w and b. And because of W and B, we get a model and because of model, we incur some loss. So, that is the relationship. So, uh, if we expand this in case of linear regression, this will look something like this. So, this is nothing but B plus W1 X1 minus Yi square. This is of course, ith point and the whole square. So, uh, you can now see, uh, now it is pretty much ob obvious to see that this j or the loss function is actual function of uh, the parameter values. So, loss function is, is the central piece uh, that helps us to identify uh, model parameters such that the loss is minimized. So, we, we, we try to identify parameters in such a way that we uh, minimize our loss uh, and we will see how to minimize the loss in the next section. Uh, so, this is the loss that we compute for linear regression. Let us try to see how, how we can compute loss or how we can formulate a loss function for classification problems. 
in case of classification problems uh, we have two labels. So, let us let us prepare a table of the labels. So, so, we have an actual label and we have a predicted label y and this is y hat. So, if actual value is 1 and if you predict 0 then there is an error or vice versa actual value is 0 we predict 1 that is an error. If we if actual value is 1 we predict 1 that is fine. Uh, so, these are these are 3 combinations. So, this is an error situation there is an error here error here and this is ok no error or no error ok. So, let us try to uh, develop an intuition for the loss in case of classification. So, uh, if the actual value of y is 0 and if you predict 1 you want to give a very large penalty and if actual value of y is equal to 1 and if we predict 0 we want to give a very large penalty as well. So, we will we have very very similar curve here. So, we say that so, uh, so we write this mathematically as if y is equal to 1 we have a term minus y log of p which is log of the prediction and if y is equal to 0 we use the loss minus of 1 minus y log of 1 minus p and this gives us what is called as cross entropy loss which is written as minus y log p minus 1 minus y log of 1 minus p. So, let us try to understand when y is equal to 1 what happens for y is equal to 1 we get the term minus log of p and since y is equal to 1 this becomes 0. So, uh, eventually we only get the first term for y is equal to 1 for y is equal to 0 you can see that the first term becomes 0 and we only get the second term. So, we get minus log of 1 minus p. So, this is a uh, this is a clever representation uh, of these two losses into a single equation. This is a cross entropy loss that we try to minimize uh, while solving classification problems. Uh, so, cross entropy loss is specifically used for binary uh, classification problems. Uh, for a multi class classification problem we use categorical cross entropy loss and if uh, we represent our uh, output or our labels as integers we use what is called a sparse categorical cross entropy loss. Uh, so, this is these are the loss functions that are used for classification task uh, whether with logistic regression or also with neural network models. So, having defined a loss function uh, we uh, know how to measure an error uh, once we fix up the parameters of the model. Now, our job is to find out the optimal values of parameters such that the loss function is minimized. How do we really solve this problem and this is where optimization techniques or optimization algorithms help us in, uh, in tackling this particular problem.